A good thing to do with sigma notation questions is to find the first three terms. So for example, term 1, you would start off by plugging in this number. So it'll be 3 times 1 plus 2, which is 5. Term 2 would be 3 times 2 plus 2, which is 8. And then term 3 would be, you obviously plug in a 3 over there now, and that'll be 11. So we can see that we have an arithmetic sequence where we are adding 3 each time. And we also know that the sum of all the terms is 1105. So we can use the sum formula of an arithmetic sequence. So I'm going to write that over here. We don't know the number of terms, so we'll just keep that as an um, n. a is your term 1, which is 5 n once again we don't know and then d is your common difference which is 3. What I like to do here is multiply the 2 over which will be 2 2 1 0 and then I neaten up the inside which will be 10 plus 3 n minus 3. I put the 10 and the minus 3 together to make 7. Then we can multiply the n into the bracket so it'll be 7n plus 3n squared. We then bring the 2210 over so that we get a trinomial. Then you can use the quadratic formula and you'll get that n would equal to 26 or n would be equal to negative 28.33. But now you can't have a negative n value so this one will be no solution. All right, so we found n, but that's not necessarily the same as y. Sometimes they are the same, but remember what I showed you in previous videos or questions is that to work out the number of terms, you always take the top, which is the, the y, minus the bottom, which is this k equals to 1, and then you always add 1. So the number of terms, which we've just worked out as 26, is equal to the top letter, which is y, minus the bottom, which is a 1 plus 1. So in this scenario, y will be 26. But if this k value was something different, then you would have to be very careful, because it wouldn't be the same as this 26 value.